The following year saw the redevelopment of the former gymnasium into a fine dining hall with modern kitchen facilities. Houses were built for a caretaker at Cowden Road and at Hollyfast Road for the groundsman. Our most recent additions are the two biology laboratories opened in 1975. The advent of girls in that same year necessitated the addition of toilet facilities and in 1981 a major refurbishment of the boys' toilets. In 1982 the stonework facade was cleaned and much needed repair work carried out. In 1983, the governors had 12 BBC Model B computers installed and computing was added to the syllabus for the second years and above. Some temporary classrooms were erected in 1948, adjacent to the railway on the north side of the school. The air raid of the 14th November 1940 inflicted considerable damage to the school as a result of incendiary bombs. Following the return of the evacuees from Lincoln and the increase in numbers, four new classrooms were built. Thirty-six years later, they are still in use but the materials of their construction are degenerating rapidly and we can only hope to extend their life for a very short period. As part of their long-term building development scheme, the governors of Coventry School have earmarked three prime targets for this appeal. One, the replacement of rooms 51 to 54 at Bab Lake, the so-called temporary classrooms. Two, the replacement of two junior physics laboratories at King Henry VIII, constructed in 1944 and suffering similar problems with degenerating woodwork. Three, the provision of a multi-sport synthetic play area to benefit the boys and girls of both schools jointly to be constructed at Duncroft Avenue on the site previously used by the old Coventrians Rugby Football Club. This all-weather surface will help to solve the school's desperate need for tennis and hockey facilities and will at the same time release grassed areas for the increased use of rugby football for the whole of Coventry School at Hollyfast Road. For these three major projects, we have set a target of £600,000. With some 14,000 living Coventry School former pupils, we estimate that the tradition of generous giving and the ambition to see the school continue to improve its facilities 
will see us to our target. If we are grateful for what the school has done for us, we must ensure its future by building improvements for the next generations. <laughs>